Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to yet another episode of Tales of Symphonia. Let's play, and this is going to be part 36. We are getting our way along, and uh, I just wanted to make an important announcement. Uh, because Little Big Planet 2 is coming out so soon, it's, only, it's coming out January, uh, I'm going to be doing only Disc 1, and then I'm going to be doing uh, Little Big Planet 2 as soon as it comes out, and then I'll continue with this, or I might do Disc 2 another time, but I will definitely, definitely, definitely do Disc 2. I'm not going to skip out and then not do it. That would be totally not cool. Um, so, it, it negates anything I've said about other games before. Uh, Little Big Planet 1 was one of my favorite games of all time. I just loved it, loved it, loved it. And Little Big Planet 2 is going to be sick. And for all I know, it could take me, like, infinity years to get every single thing. But I'm going to do it, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy watching me play. I'll be, like, a day one that it comes out, I'll post a video. Uh, other than that, I got nothing for you, but that's all i got to say for now. Okay, so let's go back to the game, where we are in Lewin right now, and we are planning to go back to the Human Ranch. First, we're going to make a stop off at the town that we went to before. I forget what it's called. Maybe, uh, yeah, I should I forget. Who cares? Let's go. It's the one with the mountain. If you guys remember, that's cool. Uh, righto, righto, righto. So, what we need to do is see Pietro and Hima. There we go. Thank you, Sheena, for telling me. Uh, it, does, it doesn't matter. I, I have my reasons. Hmm, well, whatever. Okay, let's go to Hema. Indeed. Now we will go to Hema. And, like I said before, at this point in the game, you will be able to fast travel now, so it'll make things a lot easier when, once we get there. We can fast travel back to Luin and back forward. Uh, you get the picture. Uh, another deadly, deadly thing is even at this point in the game, weaker enemies than yourself can still poison you. And if you don't take care of that as soon as possible, it can end up doing a lot, a lot of damage. But, Rain get Rain has a spell that can take care of that, and she can also take care of magical ailments as well. Uh, that That's a physical ailment, like things like that, and um, well, I guess I forget what else would be. But there's also magical ailments, like if there's an like, attack down and stuff like that, she can take care of that and fix that up. Now what you saw there was one of Sheena's spells, which was uh, Kareen, and Kareen is her little buddy. You're going to see a little bit more of Kareen in the future, but for now, he's just a battle person. Indeed. So we are making our way to Hima, and the purpose is to go see Pietro, and Pietro is one of Sheena's old friends. Um, Sheena has a lot of mystery behind her, uh, not as much as Kratos, because Kratos basically says nothing about his past, but Sheena's starting to reveal what she's got going on, uh, and she's going to try and help us out. That's all she's trying to do right now, so we'll have to trust her. But we might not be able to trust her later on. Indeed, mystery. Well, I keep saying indeed too much, and I think it's replacing my so. Uh, so, um, you see what I did there? Now, I am totally blanking out. Okie dokie, so, I am recording this at 8.09 a.m., and this is right before school, so thumbs up for school, because I hate it. But we can always look on the bright side, and the bright side is that we are now at HEMA. And as soon as we walk in, I'll be able to show you the dude that's going to allow us to fast travel. And uh, he is right there. That's him. And if we talk to him, he'll say, uh, I, I, need, I need to go to this place because I'm a pussy and I can't fight by myself. I'm a, I'm a little pussy. Ha, ha, ha. And then all he has to do is just talk to him and he'll teleport there because apparently when there's five people together, or seven, I don't know, I can't count apparently. That's why I have to go to school, see? Um, but it's apparently when there's seven people together, then they have to teleport. Hmm, I don't know, but that's what's up. Now... If you see, that lady is still there at the top of the stairs, so we're going to go check out what the hell she has going on. And we are also going to save the game, because I don't know if I've saved in quite a while, and it can be devastating. So, Sheena obviously knows this guy, so he, she said he passed away. Did he say anything about the human ranch, perhaps? What a faggot. I don't know. Even I don't even know how he escaped. What about his belongings? He didn't have any. Where is his grave? At the back of the Ventures graveyard. Ah, don't think about digging up his grave, please. Well, I'm thinking about digging up his grave. Please. Now, 
Oh, see, I did it again, but who cares? Uh, let's go over, and we're going to go dig up his grave, because we're cool like that. It is this one over here. As you can see, it is clearly marked by a fresh wreath. It's out of the question, Rain. Come on, we can totally do it. So we're going to pray instead. Apparently that makes magic things happen. I don't know. Do you guys do you guys believe in God? I know it's kind of a touchy subject, but um, if you do, I guess this game has a, an extra meaning for you. I know it might be. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just... Forget about that topic, that's just a little bit too hot to hot button issue. Now, it's Pietro, and he wants to kill the Chosen? What the fuck? Nigga, you be tripping. Now, so, he looks dead to me, but he's kind of a zombie. So that's cool. That goes back to the religion thing, because Jesus is also a zombie, because he came back from the dead. So Pietro is now Jesus, and a zombie. So it's Jesus make a zombie Easter happy. And... Nah, no, we didn't lie. He's just a Jesus zombie. So, that's pretty goddamn awesome. And, so please, tell me, how did you get away from the human ranch? Boulder, big, underground, jewel, boulder, move, chosen. What are you saying? Is that the escape route? Please, let him be. Now listen. Oh, no, wait, that's Sheena's voice. Now listen, you may be happy protecting Pietro, but because of this guy, countless people from Lewin are dead. How about helping us just a little? I'm sure Pietro has many things he wants us to say as well. But because of the curse, he's been turned into this. He's been turned into a zombie. Dun, 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 la, 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 la. But all of my smart listeners, and I know you're all all smart. I guess you're watchers too, because you kind of watch the screen. But who cares? All the people that come to my channel, you're all smart, because you already did come to my channel. And you'll be able to figure out that he said Big Boulder. And what did I point out before? A boulder. So, either I'm super smart and a fortune teller, or I played this game before. I'll let you figure out which one, smarties. Now, we are going to be going back to the human marriage, but how are we going to move the boulder? Because it looks gigantic, and even Kratos' big gay muscly arms aren't big enough to push that rock out of the way. Even Lloyd with his X-Gem. Well, I guess they all have X-Gems now, but who cares? Indeed. So, I totally would stop reading it, so I'm totally behind in it, but... Rain is going to apparently get a new healing technique, which I love. I love when Rain gets new skills and stuff like that. I do recall something that seemed unnatural. Yes, let's go check it out. So we're going to go check out what we need to get in order to have Rain be a baller. And this design orb, this design orb is what will replace Kratos' big gay muscly arms uh, in order to push the rock away. But... Other than that, we have to get Rain's ability to help Pietro because he is in dire need of not being a zombie anymore. Uh, I'm sure you can ask anybody. Being a zombie is not fun. Okay, so over here there is one of the dogs that I pointed out last time we were here, and another one is around up the bend. But we are just going to go straight over and talk to the dude that is cool. Now, these kind of are um, cool things. I'll show you the ones that give you the titles, like I said before. This one isn't really necessary, but uh, if you watch them, it's a really good way to show the relationship between characters. I even think they're called, like, um, relationship quotes or something like that. I don't even remember. But uh, now we're going to go back to Sheena because we don't need to call out anymore. She looks dumb. And I will see you guys once we get to the Design Ranch. Peace. Okay, so we made it back to the Design Ranch, and this is the big, muscly boulder. I mean, whatever. And we're going to be using the design orb to move it. And it will make a secret entranceway to the place that we need to go. See, even Lloyd's big gay muscly arms can't move it. So we are going to use the design orb. And Rain uses her big gay muscly arms to move it. And she's a baller. Now, we can climb inside and be awesome. Let's go, Lloyd. Yeah. So now they're inside, I'm pretty sure, yeah, they're inside, and there's these two dudes be like, Yo, who the hell is you? And then Lloyd just says, Yo, was nightmare, bitch? And now we're gonna kick the shit out of them. Because that's what we do. We're nice guys like that, and we're just gonna hand their asses to them. Uh, if we weren't nice, we wouldn't even give them their asses look, after we kick their ass. Uh, aqua laser. Now, it's important for when you're facing the guys like this that you don't let the caster get his spells off and two, you make sure that if they have any weaknesses at all you're getting genius to cast those spells because out of everyone in the game he has the 
widest variety of uh, spell types, obviously, and it is necessary for you to maximize damage with him, or really, you're wasting TP, because that's all he runs on. If he attacks normally, that's a real waste of time, and he's a really weak little bitch. Now, Rain uses her super hacking skills, her big game muscly brain, to get into the computer. It will give us a map of this place, and we will be able to make an attack plan. Now, I'm going to let you know right now, we're going to have to split up into two groups of three. Uh, for my groups, I pick Krato, Sheena, and Lloyd for one group. That is the group that is going to the left, and Colette, Rain, and Genus for the group that's going to the right. Now, the reason I did this is because I needed uh, Rain and Kratos each in one of the parties, because I need healers. Uh, Genus and Lloyd I put in each of the parties, because they are very good high damage people. And Sheena and Colette I put in each of the parties, uh, because they are just uh, support characters and they're pretty good uh, in general. They're not like super healing, they're not anything like that, but I just said throw them in either of the party. Uh, I just want to let you know, you guys know that before we split our parties up, but um, so now I'll, I'll go back to reading this because I'm sure you guys hate it when I don't read shit. Here it is. So those are the two things that the uh, the two twi switches at the end of the left right passageway. So these shut off the so the deactivation switches are, sh are to shut off the force field thing to get to the boss. So okay, let's go deactivate it. Wait a minute. I'll bring up the route leading to the cars route. As you can see, it looks like the conveyor belt prevents passage through here. In order to stop that, we'll need to stop the conveyor belt control mechanism. But it seems constructed in such a way that you can't get close to the control mechanism while containers are on the conveyor. Let's see. In order to adjust the control dispatch control system, what is that really what it said right there? Controller dispatch control system? It's the worst wording ever. Damn it, they detected my computer, the access of my computer at the main whatever, whatever. I almost said it almost as bad as they do. Huh, <sighs> press the A button, god damn it. Uh, Lloyd, what do we do? The designs will be here any minute. Damn it. It looks like we don't have any choice. Let's split up into two teams of, to deactivate the system and infiltrate Gavar's room. What? We're going to split up? There seems to be no other way. I would like to be in the group that goes after Gavar. Genus says me too, but I fucking hate Genus. So he's not going to happen. Sheena wants to go, and Rain is going to be the leader of the other party, so she's automatically away from Lloyd. Uh, Colette uh, wants to be with Lloyd, but fuck that shit. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go Lloyd, Kratos, Sheena, and then the other three can go have Georgie by themselves. Um, so, because... Lloyd, Kratos, and Sheena are going to be fighting Kavar. That's why I wanted the three best ones. Uh, I would preferably have Rain in it because uh, she is awesome at healing, but I can't really. So I'm going to have to work with what I can and pick the three best ones, in my opinion. And Sheena really wanted to go, so that's cool. Now, here we are talking to Kratos, telling me to go. Uh, doing it again just to make sure it works because one time I did this and I picked the wrong team, and then I didn't have my best buddy Kratos, and that made me sad. Now, Sheena's going with me too, and that is cool. So she's going to be infiltration team with Lloyd, and then the rest are going to be the deactivation team. So we're going to go with this. Now, in the middle of this room right here, there is a refresher. And refresher, awesome. Remember that, guys? Whenever you see one, you're going to want to use it because 99.999% of the time, it's a free refresh, right? Well, it usually costs money to go to a hotel or something. But this one does not. So let's split up, guys. We'll meet in Kavar's control room. Now, we are alone, and we're going to go down to the refresher. And we're actually coming up on the end of the episode, so I want to just remind you guys, uh, rate the video, well, thumbs up the video, then you I want you to comment on the video, tell me what you think is good, or what you thought was funny, or what you liked, or what you didn't like, that's okay too. And then I want you to favorite it if you really liked it, but you don't have to do that, that's, not, that's a little bit much. Uh, another one is, if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out because right now I'm at 30 subscribers and I want to keep getting higher and higher. 
Uh, I hope you guys have a good day. I'm going to go to school now, and I will see you guys in the future. What would you like? Do you wish to refresh? Refreshing. Refresh complete.